What's up everyone? Irrigation Farmer back today. Today we're going to be running the strip tiller. We're going to try to do some strip tilling into the steroid rides a little bit. And mainly just into open ground here. So today what we're going to do is we're going to try a little bit of experimentation. So on this side of my pivot, because last year it was corn ground, so we're going to just strip till. We're going to do some no-till here too, so we're going to have a few gaps. On this side I'm planning on no-tilling the whole field, but I am going to I am going to go ahead and strip till just a little bit. What you'll see is this is actually cereal rye right now. So I'm going to make some strips in here and do some compare and contrast from the strip till versus no till into cereal rye. Kind of same thing over here. I'll do some strip till and no till. Do some comparisons. You have no idea what works out if you don't experiment. So on this farm I would like to do a lot of experimentation. So we'll find out what works out. Let's get to it. So inside the tractor here. So I got my guidance line set. I've got my rate set on a rate controller to control the pump back there. And pretty much that's it. So we'll go ahead and do some outside rounds and then start going back and forth. So this tractor really doesn't like to go across the rows. It's pulling pretty hard. Uh, strips aren't looking too bad, but Right here, this is gonna be my test spot of no-till into this corn ground. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty hard, but we'll find out, we'll see how it does, comparative. And then once we get over there, I'll do the test strip. Ooh, doesn't wanna focus. Come on, over there. There we go. Over there, I'm gonna do a test strip of strip till into the no-till field. See how it works out. So what we're pumping in right now is 32% nitrogen. So it goes into our tanks there and then the plumbing goes over there. So I'm putting about 25 gallons per acre down. So not very much per acre, but you get about four pounds of actual nitrogen per gallon. Quick math. So yeah, works out really good for us. It's an easy system. Doesn't take too long to fill up the tanks. We'll get back to it. Just doing some quick tractor maintenance here. You always, when you get a chance, just kind of check things over, make sure nothing's broken. Strip tilling is pretty rough on things, so it's it's really pulling a lot of horsepower, basically any tillage, but when we're going six inches down, that's pulling a lot. So things break, bolts, bearings. So I always like to just do a quick check and make sure everything looks all right. Alright, so I jumped out. I just want to see what the difference looks like between the uh, Sura Rai strip till and the other side here. Alright, so as you can see, this Sura Rai is actually going to grow back up. Um, lots of roots in here, which is perfectly fine, but you know, actually, it looks pretty good. It's not bad at all. There's a few big clods. You don't really want to see this, but. That's roots from previous stuff, so you're probably going to see it. But it's chilling pretty nice, so that's good to see. Now let's go see what the other side looks like. So it looks pretty good for the top. You come down, um, still pretty good. There's a few bigger pieces. Start digging into it, though. It doesn't look too bad. Um, I don't feel an air pocket or anything like that. So that's good. 
All right, got an earthworm there. I don't know if I chopped him or not, but stay, stay alive, buddy. So yeah, I mean, both of them are looking pretty good. So there's my test strip, and then just gotta finish up the rest of the field here. So we'll get to it. problems about uh, strip tilling and no-tilling is if you get to a rough field like this, it kind of sucks to do. So, note to anyone else and note to myself, if you're ever going to start going into strip tilling and no-tilling, I'd suggest going to till it flat, which should already be. Um, the previous landlord of this, or I guess the landlord currently, I don't know if he had some issues with his disc, but it just is really rough. And I, I think that's what it is because you can just fill it every so often like this um, so yeah you want to make sure you have a smooth field because if I ever go back to alfalfa I'm gonna have to till this ground I hate to do that but it's just too rough so I'll probably take the secondary tillage tool and just kind of smooth it out not a big deal but uh, yeah I should probably should do that sometime but trying some things out before I do it some of the reasons why we really like strip tillage uh, one it's kind of a different it's medium between no-till and full tillage so you're still leaving some of the existing ground alone two you're using less passes because we can put down fertilizer and do tillage at the same time so we do two passes we do a strip till pass and then our planting pass it saved us a lot on fuel and equipment because we don't have to have huge equipment for full tillage we don't have to pay for that customly or do it ourselves and buy the equipment so that's really nice and then um as I said, just the, the fuel itself, you know, run the tillage equipment, it's pretty expensive. Besides the expenses part, another big reason is the soil health part. Uh, we feel like we're increasing our organic matter. In our area, as I've talked about plenty of times, is huge for us because we want to be able to increase water infiltration and water holding capacity. Since we don't get a lot of moisture, those two are critical on our farm and this area. So anything that we can do to increase that is really beneficial to us. Hopefully it works out. I mean, we're definitely seeing a difference, but long-term, you know, that's why I'm making some changes to try to see what else I can do. That's the last of the pass for our strip till. This is the last field I had to get done too. Uh, we kind of downsized on our corn acres this year just because the way the river's looking, probably not gonna have a lot of moisture. But we still wanted to plant some with the price how it is, and I think we'll still be able to make it work out. Um, don't forget to subscribe as I said earlier. I've got some more irrigation videos coming out, and then planting is probably coming up in another few weeks to a month. So, Go ahead and hit the subscribe if you're interested in watching those or if you like the channel. And let me know any comments, questions you guys might have. i uh, love to hear from you guys. So thanks again.